Shalom, I'm Yashirala. I want to give infinite honors to my Heavenly Father, my great King, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Hira, Karkadash. I want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to my fellow labors in Yahweh Shah, pushing his true cross the four winds. It is follow our making a call in elections, assured by abounding this labor of love. Shalom, one of you brothers. Uh, I'm going to name this clip Coming to America. All right. Um, when you look on. Um, on the news across the planet, it's just uproars and most amongst the people, seditions, coops, uh, the things that were prophesied by our great king that will come to pass and many other prophets. And um, it's coming to America, man. And when it hits America, it's going to hit America a hundred times worse than all these other people. I'm going to tell you why. A lot of these other countries where these coops uproars and seditions are these people it's not legal to just walk around with guns they don't have the gun rights that people have over here in america especially in these southern states blood gonna flow in the streets in this motherfucker it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be like on this clip a cop got whacked all right it's gonna be cops getting whacked you see because see this is the time of judgment a lot of these boys in blue and green pickle suits they some dirty motherfuckers man all right, and how about Shem say, you're, you, you're going to get judged whether your deeds are good or bad. And when they have these badges on, these guys and cops, it's just like us and it's truth. Cops come from different walks of life. You got uh, cops that come from dirt poor homes and you got cops that come from suburbia. You know what I'm saying? And they a lot of guys become cops for different reasons. And from from what I see, a lot of weak guys that got picked on and were outcasts at school, got slapped upside their head. The girls didn't like them. A lot of guys like that, and guys that was thirsty for power, they become cops and get that little power that the badge gives them. And they um, misuse their power in a lot of, in millions and millions and millions of cases. It's like a certain type of guy they always want to be a cop. And then you got the guys, you know, the um, the naive guy that say he want to make a difference. That's why he become a cop. You got those guys too. Sometimes you'll put, get pulled over, and it'd be a decent guy. It'd be a a, a decent cop, you know. Uh, he have a decent um spirit on him. But for the vast majority of the times, man, it be cops be assholes. They don't be good people, good wholesome people, man. And they lie for one another. They got a cold of ethics that they follow and they they will lie one cop will plant a drug on another guy the other cop will be privy to it and what do they do they lie with one another they got they take an oath a satanic oath all right and in the coming days these cops are gonna um just like the book of ezekiel say they're gonna throw their silver and gold in the streets these cops are going to throw their uniforms in the streets. That's why the government is going to call, call in these U.N. soldiers and these uh, mercenaries from other countries and pay them, man, because a lot of these um, home-born cops are going to quit. All right, a lot of things the government is going to ask and want them to do, they're going to quit for that reason. They're not going to want to do them because they're Americans themselves. But the judgment that's going to go out on cops uh, it's gonna be so great. A lot of them gonna kick, gonna gonna quit because uh, it crosses the racial barrier when people wanna do things to cops. Cops just they make bad calls for the most part. They fuck over the people in the hood, but even when you go to suburbia, you have a man in his house. He get into it with his woman. The woman be dead fucking wrong. Cop come in, drag the man out his own house, throw him in the gen- in the dungeon. Then when he get out, the bitch and got a restraining order on him, so he can't even come back to his house. You know, and it's just injustices like that, all right, that have a lot of men hating cops. It's not just people in the hood. You'll have some cop that'll pull a man over because he's driving in a nice vehicle and just harass the man, fuck with the man, all right? And for all of these wicked deeds that these cops do, they're going to get judged for it. 
You got a lot of cops that commit adultery. They pull women over, oppress them with tickets, and give them a way out of paying the tickets. Or they just might pull a woman out and see that she married and flirt with her and just deal with her, all right? There's going to be an all-out judgment on these boys in blue, these bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when your high by Shema was shot come for you? Judgment is going all around the planet. It's going to start in the house of his house first. How about Shema Rashad's house with the nation of Israel? It's going to start where the prophets are, where the priests are, where the men of the Lord are, the ones that came and dealt with his word. It's going to start there first. So if you're doing any malicious things in this truth, lying on brothers, uh, doing things deceitfully or maliciously, the Most High is coming for you first. That's why we got to keep our hands clean. We got the most dangerous job on the planet. We got the best job on the planet and the most dangerous job on the planet. And then that judgment is going to go out to everywhere else, to two-thirds, okay, to the cops, to the Joe Six Pack. This is going to go out, you know? And I can't wait. I can't wait to see my, my personal two, all right? Uh, anybody mishandling the scriptures and deal, dealing ill with your high Shema Shai is a fool. All right, you're done. Okay, playing, uh, manipulating brothers, uh, lying in councils, those type of things. You're done. You've done it to yourself. Okay, but my personal two favorite judgments is gonna be, and you know, first of all, I gotta work on my soul, like all us brothers, work out your your uh, salvation with fear and trembling. All right. So you got to come before the altar, beg the most high for mercy, and make sure you keep your garments um, unspotted and unblemished. All right? But my fir- my personal two favorite judgments is going to see these cops get judged to see. No, it's three. It's three I want to see. First and foremost, I want to see Eve get judged. I want to see her get utterly destroyed. I want to see her pride get breaking down to the mire streets. Okay? And then I want to see uh, Uncle Ruckus. I want to see uh, Sambo Coons get utterly destroyed. The ones that be in that spirit I'm talking about are just loving the, the white man and hating his own people. I'm talking about the ones with that slave plantation house nigga spirit on them. I want to see them get it. And then it's the cops. Those are the three judgments I can't wait to see Lord William I'm the let, all right? Now, I know people are going to say, but what about the so-called white man? Man, bro, we got a thousand years. These scriptures can't be broken. We're going to be able to take, I see that nigga there, the greatest nigga on the planet Earth. All right, he's done so much dirt. You see, all those three people I, I, I named, their judgment is going to be during Jacob's trouble, you see, because once our people die, they're going to be in the kingdom, all right? So it's hasting the day in a small window for them. But that 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 damn white boy, that piece of shit eating might, man, we got a full day to play. We see a nigga like that, you gotta take your time with him. You, you can't rush it. You wanna you wanna take your time with him. All the ill things he's done. I see I, a lot of people say the 13th century. No, we're gonna go back to when he said race it, race it, destroy it to the foundation thereof. All the way back to them days when them Babylonians came in us and he came out of nowhere. Cause he burnt down the temple. The Babylonians ransacked the temple. They spoiled it. They took the gold and stuff out of there. But that bitch is the reason Ezra and Nehemiah and them had to build it. They burnt it. They went through the bitch that fuck it. Nah, this ain't enough. Burn this shit down. Okay? So, you gotta take your time when it comes to the nation of Edom, man. You gotta savor that thousand years. Enjoy it. You want you, you gotta enjoy just a thousand years of melee and meditating terror. You take your time when it comes to Esau. His judgment is you know, you don't have to be in a rush. You don't have to be in a rush to get to him fast. All right? Most I watches over his word to perform it. 
So when it come to him, you, you know, you can put him on a back burner a little bit because he can't escape his judgment. You see, but these 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 uncle uncle ruckuses, these nigga women, these cops, you see what I'm saying? During Jacob's trouble and our temptation, you know that that's the, that's the time you got to deal with them and to see their judgment, man. You know, it's, it's a small window, but not to get off a of topic. I'm gonna play this clip, press to play this clip, and funnel it through the scriptures. Um, I'm gonna write those eyes edifying to the hearers. Yeah, the beginning of it don't have no sound for some reason. But look at these multitudes and multitudes of people in the streets. All right, this is going to be in a city, every city near you in the beginning. All right, the electricity is going to be out. The grid is going to fall. And people are going to come in the streets. No cops are going to be around. And just, just imagine if a sexual deviant, deviant come out of there and, and snatch a woman and take her in a corner or something. See, during a time like this, when people in the streets, the woman ain't going to have no protection. All that independent spirit, that shit going to be gone. What she could do behind the street? All right, here we go. The cops, we got multitudes of people. All right, cops, like look at those cops that was in that truck. <clears throat> if you got 500 cops trying to uh, restore peace, all right? Or let's say you got 5,000 cops coming to bring order and peace with their guns, their shields, and and, and rifle, uh, riot apparel, and you got 500 civilians, 500,000 civilians in the streets, those 5,000 cops, 10,000 cops, 20,000 cops can't do nothing to them. You see what I'm saying? They, 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 they're going to be spoiled, even with their guns, even with their weapons. Because in America, civilians have weapons, all right? So when you look at that and they say the cop got killed, it, over here is going to be thousands and thousands and thousands of cops getting killed, all right? Because what I was just saying about the multitude, let me get that scripture. Uh, Matthew 21, I'm going to start at 45, and it reads, and when the chief priests and Pharisees had heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them. All right, so our great king was uh, getting on their asses, letting it be known that these are uh, hot. These are uh, Pharisees were hypocrites, and a lot of them were wicked. So they were mad. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude. You see what I'm saying? Even though these Pharisees had authority and a power. All right. And they had the power to use soldiers. They had uh, soldiers under their power to lay hands on people and throw them in dungeons. All right. It was so many people that would come to see your shot and they were getting healed. All right. He was out there healing them, giving them this, this, this beautiful, glorious gospel and the multitudes. He was feeding them. All right. So. They didn't want to come fuck with him and fear that a riot was going to start and that the people was going to lay hold on them because vast numbers of people, it's hard to control them. That's why Esau is going to bring out the big guns. When he stopped these riots and stuff, he's going to bring out the big guns. He's going to bring out that high grade level technology that he got that, that you see on uh, that video game, uh, Call of Duty. He's going to bring out sonic booms. He's going to bring out cloaking devices where he's invisible. All right? He's going to spray gas in the atmosphere. Oh, he he got he he already has in play what he's going to do to to stop the multitudes. He can stop them. Yes, he can. He a matter of fact, he could just do it with drones or, and shit. And you see how he used those uh airplanes to uh uh to to put all that shit in the air. Uh Damn, I forgot the name of the gas. What we always talk about when he um make come out the airplanes. Um, I forgot the name of the gases, but it breaks down your your um it breaks down your immune system. All right, so he could put another type of gas, like the same type of gas that Saddam Hussein used to gas his enemies. All right, and he put that shit in some drones or something. 
and let them fly low and just let that shit fall over the multitudes of people. Hey, they done. He knows how to stop the riots, okay? But he's going to let the riots go cause he, so he could come in as, as a great savior. And, oh, he's restored peace. And this is what we're going to do. And he's going to change legislation, change laws, and he's going to have his tight, a tighter grip on society, okay? Because they took him for a prophet. But the point of the matter is, when all of this stuff start, these police and the government infrastructure, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. The money system going to fall. But when Esau rebuilds it, because what the scriptures say, when he thinks he's fulfilled his enterprise, then Yahweh is going to come. So he's going to, this is a part of his plan to build his infrastructure, to let this system that's in play come down so then he could bring up this new one, this new money system with this, uh, with these stickers that's got to go on in your um, body, your physiology, the radio frequency identification chip, okay? And then that's going to be the new money system. Then he's going to have new laws that's going to govern this place. And there's going to be a straight-up dictatorship, straight-up totalitarian society, similar to the communist regimes, all right? It ain't going to be no middle class. It ain't going to be no... You ride up from the poor and you get rich. Them days are going to be over. It's not going to be no more free get on the internet and studying ancient history. They're going to they're gonna straight up switch history. They're going to straight up switch up philosophy. All right? It's going to be all satanic, what they want you to think, hear, and smell. You're not even going to be able to eat the food. All of these... Um, these motherfucking fast food shops, all of those, all that shit going to be done away with. In Russia, they would just feed the people potatoes. You would just go get go get in the line when when um Ru- when communist Russia was in power, and they were just feeding the people potatoes. That was it, sacks of fucking potatoes. Okay, that's what's gonna happen in these coming days, man. All right, but to stay on topic, the these the these hordes of people, they're gonna attack police precincts. They're gonna attack blockades. All right. They're gonna they're gonna attack them and take over, all right. For in the beginning of this of the melee, when all hell break loose, all right, there isn't gonna be no no order, no peace, okay. It's gonna be straight hell, okay. And, and on that clip, it showed that a cop guy is gonna be anybody that's with those uh, that has those suits on is gonna get whacked. You know what? I should have stayed. There. Let me go back. This is a. Uh, Matthew 24, I'm going to start at 3. And he set up on the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, privately saying, tell us when these things shall be. When shall these things be, Salaki? And what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? See, these are the things that have to come to pass for our great king to come. This chip got to come on society. All right. Uh, all hell has to break loose. These prophecies have to come to pass for us to go into the kingdom of heaven and become uh, immortals, super saints and rulers. All right. We get our own chariots. All right. We'll be, be lords of our own house. Some simple as ruling your own house, man. That that's we take it for granted. These guys, these guys, these men that think they got power over their house, they don't got power over their house. I had to go to I had to go to motherfucking family court Monday. All right. And I just have I got a, a child that's one years old. All the way up to the child was born and a few months after months after the child was born. She got this spirit on her that I was fucking other bitches, and I was, but she it wasn't never on her spirit all the way up to that. I guess my she she was uh, circumspect of how my patterns had changed, so she turns into a, a detective, going on social media, just bullshit. All right, and the next thing I know, she's taking the child. I can't see the child no more. You know, typical shit happened in fucking America. Her heart broke, soap opera. Bullshit, all right? And I don't be giving a fuck about this shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, 
If you fall in love with a fucking dog, a fucking animal, how much more are you going to fall in love with your bone or your bone, flesh and your flesh in a year's time, right? So she gets so angry and tell me I can't see my child. Then she, I've never uh, gotten physical with her. I cursed out a couple of times since we've been dealing, but I never got physical or aggressive with her like that. You know, she get a restraining order and write all kind of lies on it, you know, and it's probably 70 percent lies mixed with 30 percent truth, you know. And when when you go down there to that system, all right, this is my child. The, the, the scriptures say that the man is the head. Yahweh Shai is the head of the church. All right. And with the church is the men. All right. And, the, and his family. And then the man is the head of the woman and the woman is the head of the church. Genesis the third chapter say the man will rule over his wife. He got complete rulership over her. All right. So when you go downtown, you see that it's satanic because the order that Yahweh Shem Shai and the power that he's given the man to, to have dominion on the planet Earth is totally stripped. The Israelite man is totally stripped away from. Him. All right, so I'm there, and I'm in, under another entity's power talking about the seed that pro proceeded from my loins, and I have no power over that seed. And the woman has it, and she's taking that uh, God-given power that the Most High is giving you away from you. Man, that's a fucking abomination, man. It's a fucking abomination. That's a filthy fucking act, man. That that we that's the reason we cry inside and hasten the day that these things that we're talking about come to pass. I'm down there, you got these fucking devils looking for you to ask, tell them yes, sir, no, sir. I'm down there, they looking for you to wear a suit and a tie and come down there and you know, and if you wise, you gotta do it to a certain extent, but it's just you totally emasculated. You totally, you see why our Heavenly Father called, say, oh, thou worm, Jacob. You're a fucking worm, a defenseless creature. He's our only defense, man. That's it. You see that you have no power in this place. For you to even get a little inch of power, you got to go spend more money on getting a lawyer. And your lawyer is not there to, uh, he's not there to uh, get your child and your into and put your child into your possession, he's there to get you to will and deal the best deal you could get. Whereas when I say that, if you go on child support, all right, they, this bitch talking about she want a thousand dollars a month. He trying to get it down to two hundred dollars a month. All right, she say she wants you your visitation rights to be supervised. He's trying to get you joint custody. You see, he's just there to will and get you a good deal. That ain't no fucking power. All right, he's just there to negotiate for you. That's what your lawyer there for. He's not there so you can get rulership over your house. So it's, it's all all these things is why we need these prophecies to come to pass. We need we need this great death. We need this economy economy to collapse. We need these boys in blue to get punished. All right, we need this for order, true order to be restored for our great king to come rise up to the prey, man. Okay. And Yahweh shall answer and say to him, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And we're seeing a lot of that right now. When people come, all right, they don't literally say that they. It's him. And, you know, you got bugged out cases. Uh, he had a dude, can't lie, can't one day say he was the, uh, he was uh, Yahweh shot. You know, that's far and few in between. I've been in about 11 years, and he was the first one I seen him. But, you know, you got a lot of crazy, wacky Christians where guys say, and them cults say they the Mashiach. But another way of saying you're Hamashiach is switching up the doctrine. Switching up the doctrine, all right? And you got a lot of that going on in Israel, all right? Yahweh Shai gave us the gospel. So if somebody switch up the gospel, they saying that they Yahweh Shai. Straight the fuck up. If somebody say the radio frequency identification chip is anything else other, uh, the MOTB is anything else other than the radio frequency identification chip, all right, they coming in the name of Yahweh Shai, switching it up, man. All right? And they are deceiving many, okay? 
and you shall hear the hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's the point. I, I, I get off topic a lot of time when I start ranting about certain things. With the you know the spirit does that to you a lot, but ru- rumors of wars, hear wars and rumors of war. All right, now just like you seen all that multitude of people um, that was in the Sudan. That was the Sudan where we was looking at. The same things going on in Germany. The same thing going on in Kazakhstan. The same thing um, was going on in Australia. The same thing that went been going on in fucking Paris for damn near two years now. Okay? It's going on throughout the planet Earth, man. This is the generation. This is the generation. This is the generation that will see... Uh, the last prophecy that brings in uh, the age to come. Our great king cracking the clouds. This is the generation. I right? ain't going to be no 20 years from now, 10 years from now. Nah, this is it. We're going to want be the ones to behold our king, our king. Hold on. What Job say? Let you know Job here. Let's see what Job had to say about the situation. This is Job 19 and 25, all right? For I know that my Redeemer liveth. Yahweh is our Redeemer. And, and you got to re- realize, Job was 10,000 B.C. He was before the flood, all right? That's why they say these things was prophesied from the beginning, all right? Enoch was the seventh from Yahweh from Adam, all right, who was Yahweh too. And guess what? He was prophesying of these things, okay? And it reads, And he shall stand in the latter day upon earth. We're in the latter day. We're in the final hour upon the earth, all right? So Job going to be in this motherfucker. He here, the beloved brother, okay? And it reads, And though after my skin worms destroy this body, he died as Job, but he's came back in plenty more incarnations, okay? Yet in my flesh, I shall see your house. He's saying, I'm going to be on the earth when our great king comes back. Okay? He said, I'm going to be here. He's in this generation. Job here prophesying somewhere. All right? This is the generation that's going to see our heaven, our great king crack the fucking clouds, man. In them spaceships, on the father ship. Well, all right, when you read Ezekiel 1 and have all those wings around the father ship. The father ship going to hit the atmosphere, and then you're going to have wing when it's when you read the book of Ezekiel, the first chapter, it say it had wings on every side of the father ship. Okay? Those are little chariots all flanking the, the big ship, protecting it. Okay? Even though it's not going to need no protection. This is the generation, man. All right? So we're going to see these calamities, these... Uh, these uh, uproars of the people, so on and so forth. This is uh, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse sixteen, and it reads: "For there shall be sedition amongst men. There's sedition amongst men right now. These prophecies are fulfilled. It just hit. It hasn't hit America at the full magnitude. All right, it's it's going on across the planet Earth, but it hasn't hit America at a full magnitude. Okay." It really have it. We, we see the birth pains of it right now, okay? And invading one another, all right? We need this. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, all right? They're not going to regard the government infrastructure, all right? The, the, the cops, the mayor, the governor. The governor going to put out decrees to be followed. He's going to put out curfews. People going to... People going to be in so much despair, they're going to be like, fuck this. The gas price is too high. Fuck this. Uh, y'all, uh, y'all, uh, the food is scarce. Fuck this. They're not going to want to hear shit the government got to say. And they're going to say, and who's going to try to enforce what the government says? These cops. And what's going to happen when these cops come out trying to enforce it? The people are going to have their way with them. Because it's the cops, even though they're getting military wise, they they still can't deal with multitudes and multitudes of people, man. That's why they're gonna call in the National Guard, and, and then the National Guard are gonna get orders, and they're Americans themselves to do what? They're gonna get orders to shoot on sight. 
You see somebody breaking the curfew, shoot on sight. But guess what? The National Guard family members are the ones in despair too. So it's going to be hard for them to do these things because they're Americans themselves and their families is going through the same thing that the people are out protesting for and rioting for. So that's when they're going to bring in these motherfuckers that can barely speak English. And they ain't going to give a fuck. They hate Americans anyway. And they're going to be getting paid. They're going to be getting paid. So they're going to get paid to do their job. And U.N. soldiers, this is an epidemic with the U.N. Wherever they go, they rape boys and little girls. All right? That, that's what they do. All right? It, it, is, it is not classified. They, you have plenty, uh, plenty of uh, cases that are... Uh, out where the UN, wherever they go, especially in Africa, they rape the children. In the Middle East, too, they rape the women, they rape the children, and they rape little boys, okay? So when they come in, they just, they gonna be thugging. They gonna be loose. They can't wait. Okay? They want a piece of America's ass. These UN soldiers, these people from other countries, they want to come because America has been that untouched virgin. These other places have been spoiled before. Shit has happened in their own country. But America, her ass ain't been touched yet. Isaiah 47 tells you that. So they can't wait to come in here and get them get blonde-haired Becky. All right? Because she's been, she's been untouched. She's been unreachable for them. They're going to come in Beverly Hills. They're going to come in the hood near you. All these bitches. Are, oh, in the hood, they just going to... They, they, they just going to get destroyed. All, see, you see that, 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 that spirit of whoredom? The most high is going to give them what they want. You want to dress promiscuous? You want to wear the most skimpiest thing you could get? All right, that's going to be a curse to them. They beauty that they want to be. They want to look oh so pretty. All right, what that, that whole say? I feel unso pretty. They want to look so pretty and shit. That's going to be their curse. Because the only reason men are not snatching you up now when you have naked and showing you that they could do what they want with you is because of the infrastructure's up. The grid is up. Once the grid is down and you think you're going to be walking around dressed, wearing the tightest jeans you can find and wearing the skimpiest shit you can find, man, you all going to see that, all right, this ain't the way it's supposed to be. The Most High is going to let that spirit of perversion get on men and men going to rape these women. Rape is going to be the theme of the day. And a prime example of that is what happened in New Orleans in the Superdome. No cops around. Infrastructure is down. What was happening to those women in the, in the, in the uh, those single mothers with no men in their family? What was happening to them in the Superdome? They was getting raped. That's what happens when society collapsed. And guess what? The media wasn't pushing it. The media wasn't telling the truth how many women was getting raped in the Superdome. But so be it. I want that shit to happen. I want that's how you're going to kill that independent spirit. The independent spirit is satanic. Okay? This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition amongst men and them invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And of course, the actions stand, stand in their power. All right? And guess what? When they're, if, if a man is going against a cop, and ready to kill a cop, all right? Going against the government and attacking the governor topple, to topple it. What's a man going in a woman's house and having his way with her? Which one is more dangerous? A woman can't do shit to a man. The government can, even when, even though they're going to be outnumbered, they still going to be killing, they're going to kill great numbers of civilians coming to attack them. But what the fuck a woman could do but talk that shit? What that independent spirit, that independent spirit gonna be in that day? They're gonna be looking for men to protect them. And if they come to men of the Lord, we're gonna tell you to call on them gods. Uh, uh, this is what we're gonna tell you. All right, because the men of the Lord, the Lord are gonna be the ones that's being comforted, and this is the spirit we're gonna be in. This is Judges 10 and 14. Go cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Go cry to your daddy or the white man. Go press 911. What 911 at? One at Hope. What 911 at Hope? You better go. <laughs> how they talking to us? You better go get 911, Hope. <laughs> Bitch, go talk. Go call 911. Don't come over here. Because when the scriptures say we're going to laugh at the calamities, the Most High is going to do that through the prophets, man. We sign and crying around this bitch because bitch is taking us down there to the white man. He's he's violating us, man. That's that's a metaphor. When you go down there to that courthouse and family court and they 
take your money out your um, bank account, tell you what you're going to do. That's rape. They are really raping you. That's emasculation. That's what you, that's rape. They are raping the man, all right? It's an abomination. Go in, and we're going to tell them, go and cry to the, the, the powers you have chosen and let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. That's what we're going to say, man. And we're going to laugh at your calamity. Help, please. Help. Uh, some years ago, I saw um, when Haiti was in despair and they had a black chick. She was just crying, saying, please help. I got children. I'm talking about she didn't. She was crying, snot coming from her nose and just in despair. And she was begging, begging for the soldiers to help. And they were just ignoring her. All right, and that's what we're gonna do, man. Look, get the get this trash away from us. All right? Because they are they are enemies, man. They are enemies. They are part of they're synchronized with the system. And when the system falls, we're not dealing with that Mayweather shit. Oh, now you want to come back over here to the home team. No, it don't work like that. You stay over there. You stay your little happy ass over there. Okay? These prophecies are getting fulfilled, and we're happy, man. We're happy. We still got a long way to go, all right? We still got to go a long way to go. The prophesying part is easy. Going through this fucking battle we about to have to go through is, is the hard part. But if you build on your most holy faith, fast and praying, I mean, there's nothing that could come our way. Once you're not scared to die, man, you good. The worst thing this devil could do to you is kill you, man. All right? That's the way, I mean, what, what do you, and what Yahweh Shai told us in Matthew the 10th chapter, all right? Don't be afraid of him. They could kill the body, but be afraid of him after the body's killed. They could throw the soul in hell, man. So we're going to be good, I can, as long as we're sincere, we fear, uh, studious, diligent. You, you watch yourself. You make sure you're not going off to the right or to the left. You're offending less. All right? We see these prophecies doing their thing. So your, your faith ought to be getting built up day by day. And, uh, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. It's the, it's the elect against the world. Fuck them. You know? And um, Barakatai to the elect, man. Shout out to you, brothers.